Emerging adulthood between 18 and 25 is an important transition period for romantic relationships. Romantic relationships during this time are becoming more serious, more intimate, and lasting longer, even if they don't involve commitment and marriage. This is an important transition period for the development of romantic relationship skills. I'm Candy Firing, Senior Research Scholar at the College of New Jersey, and along with Jessica Marcus, a former undergraduate in my Romantic Relationships Research Lab, and Dr. Mallory Simone at Wayne State University, our research published in Family Process concerns how emerging adult couples make meaning out of romantic conflict using a narrative approach. Here are some highlights of why we did what we did, our results, and why we think they matter. We interviewed 80 emerging adult couples, each couple member separately, in order to listen to their stories about romantic conflict events and understand how they interpreted these events. We examined two types of destructive interpretations, denigration and breakup anxiety. Denigration involves narrative elements such as intense anger, contempt, and blame for relationship problems. Breakup anxiety involves interpretations that suggest the conflict events are a threat to the future of the relationship. We also examined constructive interpretations of conflict that involved empathetic perspective taking in which couple members make an effort to understand and take the partner's point of view even when disagreements exist. In addition, we looked at insight words such as realize or reflect as a means to tap how couple members might be reappraising conflict events in more positive ways. In our study, we especially wanted to understand whether meaning making about conflict would be different depending on the viewpoint of the narrator. In any relationship, couple members will experience times when they feel their partners have let them down and times when they have let their partners down. Few studies focus on how couple members make meaning of the times they are let down and we're calling that the victim viewpoint and times when they let their partners down, and we're calling that the perpetrator viewpoint. We did find viewpoint differences in destructive interpretations. As we expected, there was more denigration and breakup anxiety from the victim viewpoint. We also found that couple members used more insight when they were narrating from the perpetrator viewpoint. Contrary to what we expected, there were no viewpoint differences in perspective taking. Surprisingly, couples didn't use perspective taking as much as we had anticipated. 40% of couple members didn't use perspective taking at all to interpret conflict events, and 30% only used it once. What are the implications of our results for mental health professionals? There are a number of education programs available for committed couples but our results suggest that skills training would benefit emerging adults who are invested in, but not committed to long-term partners. Such programs might include using stories about specific conflict events from the viewpoint of victim and perpetrator and highlighting the ways meaning-making in such stories can shape relationships, be shared, and reevaluated. As event interpretations from the victim viewpoint, tend to be more negative, interventions may need to first help couples decrease or suspend negative feelings and blame to allow for the possibility of perspective taking. Although interpretations of conflict events from the perpetrator viewpoint were less negative and include more insight words, they did not include more perspective taking. The barriers to building intimacy from the perpetrator viewpoint might involve a tendency to focus on self-justification rather than understanding the partner's experiences. Narrative interventions hold promise for helping emerging adult couples develop perspective-taking skills. Stories about conflict events are not static. Witnessing what is being told and together making new meaning out of conflict events holds the capacity for diminishing hurt and building intimacy. 